Hey, welcome to X3, the show with one topic and three pundits. Myself, John C. Dvorak, Andrew Eisner, and Joe Ango to discuss the uh, dumbest PR stunt of the year so far. Uh, <laughs> apparently, somebody deciding to try to attract new clients thought it'd be hilarious. A to German company. German company. Yeah. <laughs> Making it even weirder, <laughs> they decided to glue some hard drives to alarm clocks and send them to companies with a note reading, your time is running out. <laughs> Let's send them a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> they look like little bombs. So it looks though. like a bomb, bomb, bomb and yeah. it goes around and it, it backfired. Hello. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, this reminds me of, uh, there was a couple of years ago when they were promoting the new Aqua Teen movie where they, uh, it was in Boston. Remember they put up these little yeah. LED signs of the Moon Knights and then the SWAT team came in, the bomb squad right. and everything because they thought it was a bomb. Just reminds me of that. Actually, it's ridiculous. I th this was worse. Uh, yeah. I remember one. This was in the late '80s, yeah. I believe. There was this guy. I still see him once in a while. He got fired for this. Uh, he's a black PR guy, hilarious guy, very funny guy, good sense of humor. And I, I right, every time I see him, I don't remember his name. I just call him Bullet Boy yeah. because he <laughs> is the one who sent bullets oh, good. out to the media. <laughs> yeah. With, but I, when I got my, you get a pack of bullets, yeah. and it was like just loose bullets in an envelope. Yeah. That's probably illegal now, right? But it probably yeah. is. And it may have been cases, yeah, okay. whatever the case was. It was a bunch of them, and, and there was like a, some kind of ha screw, scrawl yeah. note as though it was some sort of a yeah. message. But it was to p p promote some game. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so apparently, I, what I, my understanding was they actually shut down the McGraw Hill building in New York and evacuated the place. Wow. Because like of these anthrax. Because of these bullet <laughs> shells. Yeah. He was very embarrassed yeah. by this. And. Uh, and no. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. anyway, I, when I saw it, I, I had a sense that it was because I was in an office where there was a bunch of people yeah. who got them, and so I. But it was done in such a way there was just a note of professionalism with the with the way it was done yeah. that I said this is some sort yeah. of a gimmick. Yeah. Well, a, a company that we both worked for at one time, um, one of the publishers had this idea to send around a package to potential advertisers. <clears throat> talking about the difference, of Apple, the differences between apples and oranges between our publication. There's the problem was that these packages sat around for too long, and by the time they finally got to the people, <laughs> the fruit was all rotten. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they so, kept it too long. Uh, but you know, uh, on this um, PR bomb thing, yeah. I mean, the ironic thing is we're talking about it here. <laughs> And it got an enormous amount of PR. I mean, this right, thing, but we haven't mentioned the the company. Or no, but no, I mean, I mean, look at that thing. I mean, it really looks like a bomb. That is just. But what this company is, is in fact getting a ton of PR. It was a dumb thing, and it was yeah, well, to totally, you know, sort of in bad taste and bad judgment. But still, well, maybe <laughs> I mean, we're talking about it. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever the case is, I would it not. It was on your blog. I you gave them coverage. But but did we mention their name? <laughs> so we never mentioned their I name. Think you so did, right? and the blog it mentions Convair <laughs> Deutschland. See, there you go. So Convar, I guess. Yeah. I guess hey, in the end, I don't. We have no German <laughs> listeners, so I'm not, they're giving them zero publicity. There you so, go. But anyway, I would just caution right, people yes. out there to be careful in the future when you do these things. You've been watching X3.